Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with another video. Now, I'm really excited about this. I want to share this with you. Um, I used to do a lot of laminating projects. If you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that. I haven't done any for ages, but I've done one now and I want to share this with you. So, I'm sure you've seen these around, these little folders, or you've made them. I know I've made them myself in the past, but not with a lot of luck. But this is different because we've got our little laminated um, envelope here. But when I open it up, it isn't laminated on the other side. Now, I think that is so cool. And it is amazing for these little envelopes because when you come to glue them together, you're not gluing lamination on lamination. So plastic on plastic, which that's why mine went in the bin in the past because they wouldn't stick they may in the beginning but then they start to peel away but this this way you are sticking um paper to lamination which is much much easier to stick as you can see that's stuck solid and it's all nice and paper in the inside now another thing i've also just done some really quick little stamps I stamped them, um, laminated them and cut them out but yet again the back is just cardstock and the front has got just a lovely glossy look and I made just a stamp and a die set I had and I think this is just so cool. I absolutely love this and I'm going to show you how to do it and it's so easy. Now I can't take credit for it, I came across it on a channel an American channel and it's called Tea Time and Dolls I believe but I'll put the link so that's whose idea it was or where I saw it from so I've got my laminator on well I haven't I've got it ready anyway so let's right I took a piece of just scrapbook paper I stamped some little stamps on okay so I've got them. Um, I also stamped the same stamps on some white card and I just really quickly coloured that in with some alcohol markers. All right. So what I might do is just cut that out because just in case we don't fit it all in the laminator. Just going to cut that out of there so right I've just got some normal lamination pouches these are A4 and you also need sheets of copier paper i think this is 80 gsm 75 or 80 gsm something like that so just you know printer paper copier paper really thin you need two you must use two okay so what you're going to do is open your pouch right you're going to put your Copy your paper in first, both sheets in together, all right? And then you're going to take whatever you want to laminate and you are going to pop these just in on the top of your paper, okay? So I'm just going to pop mine like that, all right? And then you're just going to close it over so that's what you've got okay now i think the laminate is ready so i've got it ready i'm just going to quickly run this through and i'll be back okay so i've run it through you can see i've laminated it okay now what we're going to do is either take scissors or a trimmer whatever you want to use and i am just going to snip away just along the bottom and just down the two sides, okay? All 
Right, now when we open this up, okay, we've only got one side laminated. Now we also have our other sheet of paper, but don't worry because once we cut these out that will just drop off. So sometimes it drops off when you open it, but for example I've just quickly cut them out. I don't think it's going to seal it off this time. So I'm going to cut this out with a die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Can you see once you broke like the seal, that will drop away. So I'm just left with a one side lamination. Okay. Same as this, once I just cut this off it out rather you see that just peels away as well so you've got whatever original card you had and then you've got your lamination which I just think is so cool so I have a die that matches these and I'm just going to quickly grab the machine and cut them out because you can run these through your machine as well. I'll just cut that like that because I don't know if it will go through all in one go. You can get out whatever stamps and dies you've got and you can use them and make. Now the purpose of them, I think it would be brilliant to make ephemera or if you just generally have you know pieces that you want to protect more and um, photographs or whatever but you don't want them laminated on both sides because there's a lot of times that I haven't wanted that and I thought well there's not really a lot I can do but there is so I'll just quickly cut one and show you actually yeah that's what I'll do I'll just quickly cut this so I would tape it down because obviously lamination is quite you know slippery and shiny so I would tape it down all right and then I'm going to run this through and once I peel the tape off There we go, isn't that just so cool? I love this, absolutely love it. And it kind of looks just like glossy accents maybe. Because, I don't know, it just it really is cool. So that's what you can do with the get your stamps and dies out. Now also, You don't have to just, you know, use something that has dyes. I mean, the reason I did was because I think sometimes when you cut lamination stuff, it can look a bit messy because it, it is thick, isn't it, when it's laminated. So that's why I chose a stamp and a matching die. But if I take another one here, so I've got another sheet. I'm just going to get the copy of paper. So let's say for example I've got this, just this sheet that I printed off online. Okay, I, I bought these from Etsy. So again, two sheets of copy of paper. right and then my full A4 sheet just over the top right and then I am just gonna wait for that to heat up and run it through and I'll be back. all right so I've run them through and I actually think that's kind of brought the images to life with that gloss I just think it's made them look so much more vibrant now you could totally use your trimmer because you've got a lot of like you know straight square edges but 
I've got my scissors and what we can do is just follow along this black line and there we go look at that now I actually think that looks pretty professional and I wouldn't say that you would look at it and think oh that's laminated I, I don't actually think you can because I don't like that look if I'm honest but this is different because with it it's a lot thinner it's smooth card on the back but then the front has just got this beautiful gloss but yet it's still quite thin absolutely amazing I really am in love with this <laughs> we're going to cut this one out so what you could do is you could just cut it roughly you know until the um the backing comes away because it is easier to cut when you've, you've just got your one piece just tear it open really it's only this bit we need anyway and then we can just follow round I just think it's completely brought them to life as well if I'm honest gorgeous Okay, so I will cut these two out and I'll be back and lastly we're going to make the envelope. Okay, so I've just took a piece of um, scrapbook paper. It's measuring 8 by 11 inches. That's what I cut it down to. So my envelope, I want it to be something like that. Okay. So all I do is just give it a little mark, okay, just like that. And then I know when I turn it over, so I'm just going to go off it by eye. So I'm going to score it at three and three eighths. And I'm going to say eight and a quarter. So three and three eighths and eight and a quarter. Okay. And there we go. That's going to be my envelope that way. And then on the short side, I'm going to score at half an inch. each side all right so I'm gonna take some scissors because what I want to do is it's gonna fold up like this but I want these bits to stick to the inside so we're just going to have lamination sticking on the card so I'm going to cut all this these away and then I'm just going to mite it in there and I'm going to do the same on the other side and just take a little bit there as well and then what I'm going to do is my envelope is going to fold up like this and I've got my corner rounder and I'm going to round the two top corners I'm 
Right, to get this out the way. So again, I've got another lamination sheet and I've got two pieces of copier paper inside. And then I'm just gonna take my little envelope that I've just uh, cut and scored inside, close it up. And then I'm just gonna run it through like this. Okay, I'll be back in a minute when I've done All right, it. Right, there we go. I've run it through. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I am just going to cut around the little envelope inside this sheet here. And there. And that's it. And then, as I said, we've just got card on the other side. We can just fold up our little score lines again. How cool is that, though? You haven't got those horrible thick lamination edges and either you just you don't have them doing it this way now i was yeah i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna use i've just got my little um snap fastener kit thing here um i'm gonna just get a get a, the little pieces ready a bit squeaky there we go and we've just got to tape it but I'll just show you how cool absolutely love this and I found the best way to stick it was with tape and um, they didn't seem to come away with any tape and now I can't find it <clears throat> obviously buried it somewhere just bear right, with so us. I've just put some score tape on to save uh, save some time. I've got you can see I've got it on both sides, and I'm just going to fold it up and tuck these two sides in, and then I am just going to stick it down. Okay, just like so. Oh. You can see it's much better because you're sticking it to card, not again to another piece of lamination. How adorable. And like I say, I know these have been made, I don't know how many times, but I've made one, well, I've made a few and then I've binned them because it didn't matter what you used on that side, they were always going to come away. So we've got our gorgeous little pieces that we made which we could easily just pop in here and this could be you know like little ephemera for again gifts or swaps or whatever you want so I am absolutely loving this and there's the one I made in the beginning so I hope you're going to give it a try it's amazing <laughs> So I'll put whatever links I can under the video for what I've used and also for tea, tea time and dolls. I'm sure that's what it is, tea time and dolls. Okay, so take care and bye for now.